Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are in the world, and welcome to your interview scheduling report for the February 19th to February 23rd working week. There is some good news concerning interview scheduling at a number of your embassies and consulates, so without further ado, let's now consider the latest situation of interview scheduling at your various embassies and consulates. And we begin in Lilongwe, Malawi, where interview scheduling remains at 22,000 plus case number range. In Kotonou, Benin, interview scheduling remains at 26,900 plus case number range. Harare, Zimbabwe remains at 38,300 plus case number range. Johannesburg, South Africa remains at 33,300 plus case number range. In Lusaka, Zambia, that's where the leap occurred from 5,400 plus to 26,100 plus case number range. Next is Tirana, Albania, and interview scheduling at that embassy moved from 15,900 plus to 17,400 plus case number range. Then in Cairo, Egypt, for the Africa region, interview scheduling remains at 21,100 plus case number range. And for the Asia region, interview scheduling moved from 4,600 plus to 5,200 plus case number range. In Frankfurt, Germany, interview scheduling for the Africa region remains at 38,500 plus case number range. For the Asia region remains at 6,900 plus case number range and for the Europe region remains at 17,400 plus case number range. In Libreville, Gabon, interview scheduling remains at 34,500 plus case number range. Dar es Salaam, Tanzania remains at 25,500 plus case number range. Antananarivo, Madagascar remains at 34,600 plus case number range. Tunis, Tunisia moved from 32,300 plus case number range to 40,400 plus case number range. Paris, France is next and for the Africa region, interview scheduling at that embassy remains at 32,900 plus case number range. For the Asia region, remains at 6,400 plus case number range and for the Europe region remains at 15,800 plus case number range. In Kinshasa, the Democratic Republic of Congo, interview scheduling moved from 10,300 plus to 10,800 plus case number range. In Accra, Ghana, interview scheduling remains at 3,700 plus case number range. Then to Seoul, South Korea, and for the Africa region, interview scheduling has moved to 39,100 plus case number range. And in the case of the Europe region, interview scheduling is currently at 16,000 plus case number range. Casablanca, Morocco is next, and interview scheduling at that embassy remains at 26,300 plus case number range. Then to Mumbai, India, and for the Africa region, interview scheduling remains at 41,600 plus case number range and for the Asia region remains at 7,100 plus case number range. In Yaoundé, Cameroon, interview scheduling has moved from 32,300 plus case number range to 37,400 plus case number range. Freetown, Sierra Leone is next and interview scheduling at that embassy remains at 36,500 plus case number range. Then to Colombo, Sri Lanka remains at 5,200 plus case number range. In Lome, Togo, interview scheduling has left 34,600 plus and is currently at 40,800 plus case number range. Then to Auckland, New Zealand, and interview scheduling at that embassy remains at 6,700 plus for the Asia region and remains at 1,200 plus 
Kings Number Range for the Oceania region. In Tokyo, Japan, interview scheduling has moved to 7,100 plus Kings Number Range. Kigali, Rwanda is next, and interview scheduling at that embassy has moved from 14,600 plus Kings Number Range to 17,300 plus case number range. In Dakar, Senegal, interview scheduling remains at 25,000 plus with the possibility of extending to 25,100 plus case number range. Warsaw, Poland is next and interview scheduling has moved to 17,400 plus case number range at that embassy. Then to Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, and for the Africa region, interview scheduling has moved from 20,600 plus to 28,000 plus case number range. And for the Asia region, interview scheduling has moved to 5,300 plus case number range. Montreal, Canada comes next. Interview scheduling remains at 41,900 plus for the Africa region remains at 6,800 plus for the Asia region and remains at 17,200 plus for the Europe region. Abu Dhabi, the UAE comes next. For the Africa region, interview scheduling remains at 36,700 plus case number range. For the Asia region, remains at 6,700 plus case number range. And for the Europe region, remains at 11,700 plus case number range. Next is Monrovia, Liberia, and interview scheduling at that embassy has moved from 34,400 plus case number range and is currently at 42,100 plus case number range. Then to Djibouti, and for the Africa region, interview scheduling has moved from 33,300 plus and is currently at 41,700 plus case number range. And in the case of the Asia region, interview scheduling has moved from 6,900 plus to 7,000 plus case number range. That's at the Djibouti Embassy. To Doha, Qatar, and for the Africa region, interview scheduling has moved from 26,500 plus and is currently at 41,000 200 plus case number range. And in the case of the Asia region, interview scheduling has moved from 4,100 plus and is currently at 5,900 plus case number range. Islamabad, Pakistan comes next and interview scheduling at that embassy has moved from 6,900 plus to 7,100 plus case number range. Addis Ababa, Ethiopia comes next and interview scheduling remains at 14,200 plus as was the case last week. Kathmandu, Nepal follows and for the Africa region, interview scheduling has moved to 41,500 plus case number range and for the Asia region to 6,100 plus case number range. In Jakarta, Indonesia, interview scheduling remains at 6,400 plus case number range. In Tbilisi, Georgia, interview scheduling has moved to 17,400 plus case number range. Then to Nairobi, Kenya, where interview scheduling has moved from 30,100 plus and is currently at 35,900 plus case number range. Aman, Jordan comes next and interview scheduling for the Africa region remains at 39,700 plus case number range and for the Asia region remains at 7,100 plus case number range. Rangoon, Burma is next and at that embassy interview scheduling has moved from 6,900 plus to 7,100 plus case number range. That is followed by London, the UK and for the Africa region interview scheduling remains at 33,400 plus for the Asia region remains at 6,900 plus for the Europe region remains at 14,500 plus and for the Oceania region remains at 400 plus case number range. 
In audience, Algeria interview scheduling remains at 33,700 plus case number range. In Suba, Fiji, interview scheduling has moved from 1,000 plus and is currently at 1,200 plus case number range. And finally, in Yerevan, Armenia, interview scheduling for the Asia region has moved from 6,600 plus to 6,900 plus case number range and in the case of the Europe region has moved from 14,900 plus to 17,400 plus case number range. So that's the current situation of interview scheduling in the DV 2024 program. As we saw, there was some movements during the course of this week for example, at the embassies in Nairobi and Yaoundé, where interview scheduling had been static for several weeks running, interview scheduling at both of those embassies has finally moved on, which is good news for applicants assigned at both of those embassies. So that is it. Look out for your embassy performance report, hopefully in the next video. Thanks for watching this one. See you, God willing in the next one. Goodbye.